do you guys ever ever just think about how many books that you really want to read and then get like super excited and super sad because they aren't released yet like I'm talking about series here or like popular authors that haven't written a book in ages and I just get so overwhelmed by emotions and that is why I've decided that I'm gonna just have an outing for these emotions by telling you guys and basically yelling at you guys the books that I just need I just need the next book you know I need the next book. I need the next book in the Magnus Chase series. So if you haven't heard of Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer by Rick Rorden, what are you doing with your life? Kidding. You know, this is one of Rick Rorden's like fun paced, easy to read book with wonderful characters that you really love. And I just need another one of his books like sometime soon, especially Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, the Hammer of Thor, which is like a green cover as well, which is my favorite color coincidentally. Ah, and I just need it. It's so pretty and I just, I just need it. <laughs> like the first comment on the review area is we need it. So, you know, it's true, we do. When does it come out? What? 4th of October. 4th of October. We have to wait till the 4th of October. I just need the next book now. Please, God, sit down. So this next book, um, I just recently read it and I already need the next book. And luckily it comes out very, very soon. So the first book is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir, which is like a Roman based novel. And the second one, A Torch Against the Night. I pre-ordered. I pre-ordered it because I'm not excited for it. I just need it. So that comes out the 34th of August. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm very excited. But the only problem with pre-ordering the second book is that um, I'm going to tear through that. I'm going to finish it and I'm going to need the third book. But I'll have to wait an entire 365 days, give or take, for it. And to me, it's just... What? I should probably put in like a little disclaimer by the way because I'm currently recording this video on the 27th of August. So when I actually publish this video, A Torch Against the Night will probably be released. I would have probably read it by then. So just pretend that it's a different date today. Pretend it's the 27th of August. Do that for me. Thank you. Now this next one is not actually a series. It is more of an author and I need the next Marcus Zusak book. Because those of you who know, he is like my all-time favourite author. He wrote some of the greatest books that I have ever read. And he hasn't written a book in a very long time. And I just really miss that. I need the next book by Malcolm Zusak. Please. So a little while ago, there was a post um, flitting around that there was going to be a second book um, following Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the New Universe by Benjamin Elia Sands. And um, it wasn't until I jumped into Goodreads this morning that I saw that there is an actual title for a second book in the series, which is There Will Be Other Summers. And I believe it is going to be a duology. Which, you know, just the fact that there is going to be more of Aristotle and Dante, my absolute cinnamon rolls, my children, my babies that I must look after for the rest of my life. I am so happy, but there's not even a release date yet, so I'm just like overwhelmed by all the emotions because it's Aristotle and Dante. And if you guys haven't read this book, just do me one huge favour. One favour. Read it. For me. I will give you a cookie. So this next one is also a recent release because I like to torture myself like that. And that is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. And um, I just, I wish that this series was completed because the ending of this broke my heart into like six different pieces. And now we have to wait a long time for the next book. And I just need the next book, but it's so great. It's a beautiful fantasy book that is amazing and lovely and a heartbreaking. <laughs> so you guys should read that too. In fact, just read every single book that I mention. And the crazy part is, is that I've just like looked at my pile of other books that I need the next book in and they're all equally amazing and heartbreaking. So I'm about to get real emotional, more real than what I have been reeling about before. So this next one is like, <laughs> Amazing, and it's by one of like the most adorable authors ever, which is Lynette Nomi, and that is Akane. Uh, this is the first book in the Medoran Chronicles. The second one, Raelia, is also out, and the third one, Dracora, comes out I think like at the end of this year, so I should start it next. But I just need it, like 
I am so invested in this series that it breaks my heart knowing that I have to wait. But you know what is also amazing is that Lynette Noni, who I got to meet when I went to Sydney, said that she wrote this book and most of the books that she writes in just a month. She just goes into like writing hibernation. That's all she does is just write the story out and then boom, 30 days later, one beautiful story that is going to destroy people. Just like an ember in the ashes, the sequel for this book comes out very soon and that is Illuminate by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman. And the second book is um, Gemina, which is um, a beautiful sci-fi with a cover just like this one. And it's just going to be amazing and I really love it and I am also really prepared to have my heart destroyed by reading it. And so many people that I know have already read it and told me how great it was. So I am so excited because it's going to be amazing and I really hope that I'm not, you know, putting this on a high pedestal and I'm not hyping it up enough for myself because the ratings on it are so good that I think it will live up to the expectations. I hope it does anyway because I just need it. I need it. I needed it like yesterday. I also pre-ordered the uh, second and final book in this series and I don't know if you guys know my shelves well enough but you will notice it is missing from its spot right there which I do because it is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo and Crooked Kingdom comes out and um I'm very mixed about this book because Leigh Bardugo made a post saying that not all of the characters are going to come out alive and for once in my lifetime I'm actually hoping that she will pull a Cassandra Clare like the Mortal Instrument series where she told everyone that like I think seven or nine some ridiculous number of main characters would die but didn't actually kill off any of the main characters, just side characters that she deemed as main because she wanted to terrify us all. But I have a feeling that Leigh Bardugo actually means she's going to kill off some of the main characters and I am not ready. I, I'm going to have to start preparing. I'm going to have to start preparing for this. So these next two are by the same author but they are two different series and you guys can probably already guess because these books make an appearance in like every single video that I do and that is Throne of Glass and A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J Maas. Empire of Storms which is the fifth book in the Throne of Glass series comes out very soon which I'm excited for but I also know it's going to be a really heart-wrenching book with most likely a cliffhanger ending because it is the second last book and then the year after that's going to be the last Throne of Glass book and I'm not prepared for that but I still need the book because I could never stop reading this series. And as for A Court of Thorn and Roses, well, the cliffhanger of A Court of Mist and Fury was just too much and I just need to read the third book because, you know, if you've read the book, you know. So those are a few of the series where I just need the next book. Maybe I'm just a really impatient person. No, I know I'm a really impatient person, but it feels like a lifetime of waiting for the next book in some of these series to come out. But I'm sure it'll happen very quickly and I'll be very happy or very heartbroken. We don't know until they are released. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back in another video soon. And until then, leave a comment below saying what is your highly anticipated book release that you are anxiously awaiting for. And have a lovely bookish day. Thank you, YA Chronicles, for being perfect as always.